So you've got about 600 to spend on alarms. Um, these are two very popular alarms that often come into stock here at MJL Tackle. We've got the top of the range Delkims, uh, the newly released versions against the top of the range Fox RX Pluses. The question is, which is the best alarm for around about the £600 mark? Is it the Delkims or is it the Foxes? Both of these receivers will vibrate if you want them to. You can switch that on and off when you get indications on the bite alarms. Both give a battery status. Um, both provide a range test. The RXD has got six channels here that can be programmed against alarms, whereas the Fox RX Plus receiver has only got the four channels. Let's have a little look at each one a little bit more in depth and compare some of the main features. Okay, so let's have a look at the RXD receiver. Delkim now say that this receiver will go up to a whopping 750 meters. And the lovely little feature that they've added is something called a boost mode. This gives an extra 15% to the 750 meters, which I calculate works out around about 860 or so meters range. They have a short mode as well that would be 50 meters. The second feature that Delkim have developed is the run light function. Basically, when you get a run on one of your alarms, all of these lights will light up at the same time and that will give you increased visibility as you're getting out of the bivvy. Um, they'll stay on for around about 15 seconds, fully illuminated across the full board here, and then about four seconds afterwards for the channel that has been activated. That will just be the one that's flashing after those 15 seconds so you know uh, which rod has had the run. The third feature, which is uh, really great, is um, an improvement to the anti-theft system. Delkin now have taken it to the next level with the IMU security movement sensors that are built into their new alarms. Let's give it a go and see if it works. I've got this one set with the security movement sensor set on. Once you activate it on the alarm, you need to leave the alarm 10 seconds. Here's the alarm in question being moved. There we go, as soon as it's moved, it triggers that alarm so you know something is happening. Delkim have also added a fourth whopping feature. It is the do not disturb feature and this basically eliminates false indications. It might be you're fishing in a storm um, or hailstones suddenly start coming down and we've all had it where your alarms then start beeping and particularly at night if you're trying to get to sleep it's not very helpful. It will only register a full-blooded run. Um, that will stay on for 15 minutes and then it will go straight back into the standard mode where it will pick up every beep. Finally, uh, the fifth feature that they've added is the auto switch off. If this receiver is put away into uh, your pouch left on, if it's not been activated in 48 hours, the receiver will switch off. Okay, so now let's have a closer look at the RX Plus receiver. As mentioned before, it's a little bit bigger. Um, you do get this lovely sort of rubber coating around the outside and the back, uh, which seems to suggest it's probably quite hard wearing and durable. You get a lanyard as standard, so that can be worn around a belt or around your neck, so you don't have to be constantly holding it. It sits really stable, it's very stable. You've got quite a large base, so you can sit it on a bivy table or a bag or a rucksack, whatever you want without it falling over. Um, it's got the four channels, as mentioned previously, that are along here. These channels link in with the colors of the alarms. The great things with the Fox RX Plus alarms is you can change the colors. There are buttons on the back of the alarms and you can change to whatever color you want. Also, you can change the brightness and that will then feed in to the receiver just here. So if you change a color on the head, the, the alarm, the color on the receiver will also change as well, which is a brilliant feature. Let's um, switch on the alarm then and see what sequence it runs through. Just to switch it on, it's this top one here. You just rotate it round. It's also the volume as well um, in this one toggle. So as it switches on, it goes through the sequence and then it shows you battery life as well on in the receiver. So they're all four were illuminated, so it's as new batteries. It has on the back um, got the two switches that are kind of like the main features for it. Here we've got the light feature. On the front you've got um, two strong LEDs that light up if you get a run 
on the alarm so that will light up your bivy it's kind of a bivy light as well um, and also you've got the vibration setting that can be switched on and off from the back as well so if this was in your pocket and you got a run it would vibrate just in case you didn't hear and um, you'll also notice there's a red button here this is for tuning in any new alarms the heads in with the receiver it's very simple to do just pushing that button and scrolling through each channel to program it in the alarm uh, the receiver also comes with anti-theft which is great as well let's just have a quick look at that compared to the delkin so this is all switched on that alarm is switched on if somebody switches off your alarms in the middle of the night you do get a uh, notification which is just there and also it lights up as well so you'll see clearly that suddenly everything is lit up okay let's have a look at the alarms then so the delkim against the fox the similar features on both of these alarms include day and night led mode um, led brightness that can be changed and set to your own requirements both of the alarms carry the anti-theft links to the receiver which is great as we've looked at before um, they both have range testing functions built into them which is another great thing and they also have low battery warnings Let's have a quick look then at some of the differences. The main difference is the uh, system that is used for each alarm for bite detection. The Delkim continues to use the piezo vibration sensor or the Delkim vibration technology that they've been using since 1992 and perfected really well. Um, you've got the responsiveness. On the previous models, you would have a switch down here to go for extra sensitivity and reduce sensitivity. Now it's just on one dial, the response dial here that you can turn. And also they've linked it in with a feature that they call speed control. And speed control determines when that alarm will go into the classic Delkin run warble. So it will determine the amount of movement, or you can determine the amount of movement once you've set the response, the amount of line movement before the alarm actually goes into that warble. Um, with the uh, Fox RX Plus, it's continued to use their um, roller wheel technology and they've increased the space between the casing and the line roller. They've also improved the drainage of water away from the line roller to avoid moisture buildup, which could then freeze and cause issues with the line rollers. And I think they've done a fantastic job. The sensitivity can be adjusted on the dial here, and it ranges um, in movement, line movement, from 2.8 millimeters um, on the most sensitive up to 90 millimeters. So the question now is, what should you spend your £600 on? Which set of alarms? But they're both exceptionally good alarm systems to go for. I don't think you could lose uh, really with either choice of alarm. If for me, it all boils down to the receivers um, and the function on the receivers and what you can do. I think the Delkim carries a lot more functionality uh, and technology, which if you're able to, and you're happy to go through the manual and learn it all, you've got so many super options in the Delkim um, RXD uh, receiver. If you want something that is very simple to use and you're not interested in all the extra um, technology, then I would go for the RX Plus. So for me, it's kind of between where you are as a consumer. Do you want the gadgets and gizmos and the chance to tweak your alarms and set different preferences? Or are you somebody that just wants to pick up the alarm, very simply use all of the functions to the best of their ability in one easy go? Uh, I hope that helps. The choice really is yours as to what you want to go for. These are alarms that we do have in stock quite often used in excellent condition. Please do check out the MJL Tackle website, Facebook page and Instagram account as well for latest deals on these alarms. Likewise, if you've got any comments Comments about your own experience as a user with these alarms, please do comment below and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to hear from you. Tight lines.